What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the greenhouse. Welcome to the channel. I know I said in the last video that this video was going to be an animal tour, but unfortunately it's not. It's taken us a few weeks to get good shots of all the animals. They're not always out on the same day, you know, and we want that video to turn out good. So today is going to be a general greenhouse update. We got some good and some bad to talk about. Nothing too crazy, but we also got a cool event coming up soon where you could come to the greenhouse and take a tour of it and meet us in person. And we got some cool new plants to talk about. So. You guys know the deal. First thing, go subscribe to the channel, like the video so we can keep getting out to a broader audience, keep making videos like this. Let's get into it. I feel like I was just, just finger gunning everywhere I go. So first off, the event coming up is the Utah Pond Tour, guys. If you are local, you definitely wanna check it out. It is like a parade of homes, but for koi ponds and stuff here in Utah. So I will link their website down below, but you go buy a ticket. It's at utahpondtours.com, utahpondtours.com. Go buy a ticket and basically they give you a map of all the cool koi ponds and stuff that signed up here in northern Utah. And you can drive around, go visit everybody's ponds. It is August 3rd and 4th. It's super awesome event and uh, we are going to be signed up. So August 3rd and 4th, me and Tiffany are going to be here giving tours of the greenhouse all weekend. It's going to be awesome. You can see this pond. You can come over here, see awesome little frogs like this guy right here. What do you think, froggy? Think they should come to the pond tour? Yes, yes, they should. So make sure if you are local, you don't miss that. Go grab a ticket and come say what's up to us. We're also gonna be giving out some free stickers. Stickers like these ones right here. So we got some of our new sticker designs. RIP Flapjack. Uh, we got little dart frogs here. So another way you guys can get these stickers if you're interested is you can go check out the Patreon and subscribe to one of the tiers. If you subscribe to any of the paid tiers, you will automatically get stickers and other merch sent to you. We're working on a bunch more designs and then we're working on some t-shirt designs and stuff too, which if you subscribe to one of the higher tiers, you can get for free. But if you are not interested in that, eventually we will have this stuff all for sale on our website. Whenever we get our website out, we are working hard at it, but it doesn't happen quickly. We're busy people. so. Uh, in the meantime, Patreon or come to the pond tour and get some free stickers. Don't miss it. Now that we got that out of the way though, we can get into the greenhouse updates. So there's a lot of cool stuff, but first let's get into the bad thing going on. We have some plant pests. It was bound to happen eventually. We knew we couldn't avoid it forever. We got away without any serious pests for a long time, but uh, now we have an infestation of thrips currently, which for those that don't know, it is one of the worst plant plants plant pests. It's not one of the worst, but it's one of the hardest to like eliminate. And in a situation like this, I'm not going to be able to completely eliminate them. The goal here is to get a balance between everything. But right now I have a large outbreak of thrips here and I need to do something about it. So you can kind of see like on this oh, old regal leaf, you can see this one's one of the leaves that's taken it pretty bad. It's got a lot of damage on it. Our new leaf is still looking pretty good, but has a little bit of damage on the back. See this, this is one of the older Columbia leaves, but here's a newer one. It's looking a little bit beat up. And then uh, we got some other plants. Some plants are really not being affected too bad at all. Some plants like this squamiferum are getting beat up pretty bad. Oh yeah, that looks horrible on the bottom, but Anyways, we kind of knew we were going to have some plant pests in here and we're not trying to keep a perfect array of plants. Like we know there's going to be some problems no matter what we do. Like I said, we just want everything to be balanced, but we're also trying to replicate a fairly natural ecosystem. And uh, part of that is plants look wrecked. Like if you look at pictures of plants in the wild, they look absolutely wrecked. So not trying to make everything perfect, but trying to get it balanced. So we have one other pest to talk about too. <laughs> As you can probably see over here, our Victoria Lily is absolutely wrecked. It is not doing good. <clears throat> that is because these thousands of little aphids. So we got these weird lily specific aphids. They're aquatic lily aphids. And uh, they are just eating the crap out of the Victoria Lily. We got a bunch of other really cool aquatic plants recently. And luckily the aphids are not damaging them too much or not too noticeable at least. It's really just getting the lily. So. I don't know. We're going to keep trying to combat those, but if it doesn't work, we may have to get rid of the lily. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. And then there's one other pest we need to talk about. This guy right here. He's been going around ripping plants off of things and uh, taking big, huge poops on all my plants. So I'm just kidding. He's a wanted pest, you know. He, he is kind of a pest. He does destroy a lot of stuff, but it's totally worth it. He's awesome. But anyways, what we're doing about the pests is... 
adding a ton of beneficial insects. So you can buy insects that eat the pests and attack the pests, things like lacewings, uh, ladybugs, a bunch of different types of predatory mites, nematodes, there's all kinds of stuff. We need to get a wide variety of insects that attack thrips in all their different stages of life. So that is what we're doing. I would show you, but basically I get the packages of all the insects after work and then I just hurry and release them because I'm trying to fight this as it's happening and not wait too long. But uh, yeah, so that's basically what we're doing. Introducing a ton of beneficial insects and then I'm gonna keep introducing them weekly for the next little while. And then probably from here on out, I'm gonna reintroduce them at least bi-weekly or monthly just to prevent this from being a huge issue again. So sucks but we knew it was going to happen eventually it's really not the biggest deal in the world because i don't mind a little bit of plant damage we just want to get control of it before it gets out of control and starts damaging all the plants and all the new growth so as long as plants are still putting out new growth and still looking healthy overall which they are i'm super happy with it so not a big deal but we're here dealing with it you know it is what it is you build a jungle greenhouse everything's not going to be perfect but on to the good stuff we got some new plants guys so if you didn't go see the plant tour or watch the plant tour video go check it out i will link it up wherever but uh definitely don't miss it that was an awesome video but we've got a few new plants since then so first off i will start with the aquatic plants lots of these are just temporarily placed like this guy right here but uh some of these are going to go in the pond so this one right here is an anubia species unknown anubia species with red petioles it's really cool this here is a uh, Certosperma mercusii. This gets huge, awesome leaves like this. This will be a pretty large plant. We're gonna grow in the background of the big main pond. That's why it's just temporarily set here. And then this one right here is Lasomorpha sengalensis. This thing is super cool. It grows really cool flowers when it inflows and uh, it's got little spiky stems, which is awesome. So this one's also going in the pond. And then another one going in the main pond right here is this Montrachardia arborescence. This thing is also really, really cool. These are gonna look awesome. We're finally gonna start working on kind of the background for the pond and having little planters in there to break it up so it's not just all unnatural looking in the back. We want some big cool plants in there. And I have a feeling that once the plants are in there, these plants will suck up a lot of like nitrogen and stuff. So they'll outcompete the algae. The big pond has been doing really good lately. The water's crystal clear. We have like algae on the surfaces, but we really don't have any big outbreaks in there anymore. So I think it's a perfect time to start adding plants. And once the plants take off and start outcompeting the algae, then we can start adding a lot more aquatic plants on the driftwood and stuff, which is gonna be awesome. Oh yeah, we got one more. Uh, one more sort of sperma right here. This is just a different locale. But yeah, this guy is awesome. And another thing you may notice is different over here is uh this guy this is our black velvet jabuticaba tree so i kind of decided oh yeah we cut back a ton of the pharaoh's mass too it was not looking very good so we cut it back and it's already the little bit that's left is doing better but i kind of decided that if we want to start adding some more trees in here so i don't want many more huge trees like the ficus but we decided some little gangly kind of fruit trees would be really good. It's gonna be really hard for me to make it look natural in here without trees. I was planning on originally just hardscaping everything, but that's just gonna be hard to do and make it all look natural. So we're gonna add some smaller fruit trees and then uh, we're gonna also still do the rest of the hardscaping that we planned. I think that's our best bet of making everything look awesome in here. Another benefit of adding the fruit trees is uh, lots of the animals in here will eat fallen fruit. So like the polychris lizard, the tachydromus, the blue day gecko and stuff, they will all benefit from fruit. Uh, me and Tiffany will also benefit from cool exotic fruits that I would never otherwise get to eat here in Utah. So I really wanna try some cool stuff. So I guess I should have mentioned these are all fruiting trees that are edible, delicious fruits for us but also ones that I suspect the animals will enjoy. Like this one, I really think is something the Polychris would enjoy. And this is something that lives in its wild range. This is uh, Eugenia arvensis. This thing is super cool. It's gonna grow these awesome little red fruits and also the fallen fruits. If the plants or if the animals don't eat them, insects and stuff will eat it. It will just help feed everything. But these are two new ones. So Eugenia and then this Anona uh, Johnnyi. I always forget I'm really bad with the names, but so we got to get these things planted and then they're going to grow super awesome fruits. This one grows these big, like yellow spiky looking fruits that are supposedly delicious. So fruit trees in the greenhouse, super excited for it. All right, guys. Well, that is pretty much it for this video. Uh, this little frog has been with us the whole time. He started over there at the beginning and he's been following us around the boardwalk. So that's a testament to how amazing these little terribilis are. So if you guys are interested in dart frogs and you want something bold and active, these are definitely the guys to get. 
Uh, me and Tiffany have been super busy lately getting ready for our Suriname trip, so don't forget we got that coming up. So we have been doing a lot to get ready for that, but we still have a lot of cool stuff coming in the greenhouse. The animal tour is coming soon. And I hope to see you guys at the Utah Pond Tour if you're a local. I really want everybody to come say what's up so I can meet you all in person. And I want to show this off and let you guys see all these amazing critters in person because everybody's always shocked at the size of the greenhouse when you see it in person. Seeing it on videos just isn't the same. So maybe one day all of you guys can come out here and hang out and see it in person with us. But I'm going to hang out with my animals, do some maintenance today. So thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a ton. And uh, you guys are awesome. This guy is not scared of me at all.